could you give me the Martin Lopez's uh, scoop on the upcoming album Imperial, like something we don't know about the album yet? Well, you don't know that is our best album <clears throat> yet. I mean, that's pretty much what I can say. But then, you know, it's it's a it's a so an album. It has all the the elements that we usually have in our albums. It might be that it's more it's a heavier album. I guess it's more of a metal album compared to its predecessors. But but it's a I think you know it, we kind of solid solidified an identity with uh, Lotus, and, and we just you know, kind of improving that, and you know, uh, just making that a little bit better. I think. Yeah, the reviews are coming in, of course, now. But uh, what are your own feelings on the album now that it's ready and uh, going out soon? I'm very confident of the album. Uh, I, I uh, you know, embarrassing to say because I wrote most of it, but I love it. I, I think it's our best album, and and I'm very um, proud of it. I think it has, uh, it's lyrically better, and and the melodies are better, and and uh, it's a bit more song oriented instead of which is something that we have been trying to do, but we haven't really accomplished as good as we have on, on Imperial. So I, I feel confident and, uh, you know, when you write this kind of music, it's pretty much about making yourself happy and being honest with what you do. And then uh, you hope that your audience, you know, will share the same uh, feelings that you do for, for the music. And so far so good. We actually just had a ballad coming out, a video uh, two or three hours ago, and, and I just got to see the comments now before this interview, and, and they seem to enjoy it. So how badly or, well, in a, maybe in, in a good way, did the current situation affect the writing and recording this album? Not much. Uh, we had maybe you know, like 95% of the album already uh, written before the pandemic strike because we had a quite a hectic schedule. So we were uh, we were ready with the with the music and and um, you know most of the lyrics because we knew we wouldn't have all the, all the time uh, that we wanted to. To focus on, so we were done. Uh, but of course, pandemic came and we had an extra six months <clears throat> to just focus on improving everything and making everything a little bit better. And uh, and I think that that you know gave gave that extra little push push to 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 our music. Uh, do you think that this time will affect you as an artist uh, on a longer time span? Like, will this time affect like next albums, or will this kind of leave a mark in you in that way? Uh, I guess it will, but I, I guess it will on everyone. Uh, uh, we're we're not used to, you know, modern day Europe, uh, Western Europe at least is not used to any kind of catastrophes or 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 pandemics or anything so this has been really uh, difficult <clears throat> to to get used to and and of course you know it kind of shows us that we're you know we're we're all not that we're not as smart as we think you know a little a guy eating a bat can kill us all <laughs> i mean it kind of just reminds you of that we're fragile and that we are it also should all remind us that we should you know stop wasting our time and and focusing on being happy because you know any day this can be taken from us you know yeah absolutely actually i've been asking uh many different bands this question so from your point of view uh do you have any idea how this will uh, affect the music industry as a whole um <clears throat> 
I don't know. The music industry has been changing so much uh, lately these last years. So, you know, labels uh, because of, you know, Spotify and uh, well, the internet when it came and, and et cetera. This, the, the, the worst part from this pandemic is that it's actually hurting the musicians and the crew, uh, not the corporation, uh, because you still sell albums, but you, but you know, the money from the albums for the most goes to the labels. Uh, and uh, this is just like the, the household economy of a band, the, the money that you use to pay your rent and, and you know, feed your kids is, comes from the, from touring. Uh, so it's it's hard enough. Uh, I don't know if we will change much because I don't. We don't really have any choices other than make you know may make a you know stream concert or whatever and and then. Yeah, uh, I read somewhere that your music is uh, therapeutic for you and the fans. Uh, how strongly does that ring true with this album? Uh, more than ever, I think. Um, I don't know. I, I it's having a band and and and, uh, and in our case gives us this free space to really express ourselves and and kind of address whatever issues we feel that the world has and. and and I see that a lot of, of of our audience also has those, you know, share those um, um, those thoughts that we have, and, and because they, they, I don't know, there, there's there's like a part of of of, of people, uh, or there's a a thought in process in society that is not getting any, that doesn't have a voice, you know, it, it, like, like the only thing that is coming out from social media is pretty much determined by different corporations. And um, it's, this, it's this idea where you have to, you know, measure success by how much money you make and you measure happiness by how much money you make and and, and that is constantly being uh, fed to us uh, we are we are opposed to that idea completely and, and just think that you know you shouldn't you shouldn't work more you shouldn't you know have work eight extra five extra hours you know, to buy a better car or some fancy clothes, you should really just take the time and and do the things that you love and then because at the end of the day time is the only thing you're not able to it is not coming back and that's just uh, that is just going away from you and if you're gonna spend your life chasing money believing that money will give you happiness you're completely wrong and and I think all this ideas were a lot stronger before in the 70s in the 80s even in the 90s but somehow this last 10 years uh the internet and all these uh reality shows and all these corporations and everything have completely overflown uh or or you know or minds with with these uh lies somehow and and for us, it's important to to kind of talk about that and try to unify anyone who agrees with us uh, to see if, you know, to make them feel that they're not alone, you know, to inspire them and give them the strength to to not be afraid to change stuff, even if that if society will judge you as a failure because <laughs> you chose to, you know, move out to the forest and, and be happy without having uh, any of those uh, fancy cars. I don't know, we want to try to inspire people to, to walk their own path. You know? Well, you 
got together already in 2010, which is amazingly over 10 years ago. So uh, we cannot really talk about the project band, about the project band anymore. So how did it all come together back then in 2010? The thing is, we never, we were never a, a project band. That was somehow the, the the choice of of our label back then. To I don't know. I mean, all of a sudden we received, we get the new album, and it says Supergroup. Like it has a sticker, and uh, and you know, they I, I don't know if they chose to to promote it as a project or whatever. But we've always been. I mean, since we started writing music, we always feel like we're here to stay. You know? <laughs> it's so, it, but it it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really change anything. I think it's just you know. Yeah, but uh, how did the band actually get together back then in two thousand and ten? How did it happen? It happened. Well, I I knew Kim, the guitar player, and and I I've, I've been jamming around with him as a friend and he knew Joel uh, so when we had some songs and we brought him in to sing and uh, when he sang on, 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 on our music we felt that we had something uh, very interesting and, and started treating, treating it like a, like a band and, and seeing if, if we could manage to put together you know uh, enough music for an album and when we did i just uh contacted a few labels and that's pretty much it okay so um well 10 years later and the fifth album so how do you see the like evolution of uh soen's music uh i think it's good i think we are i mean it took took a few albums to to get to a point where we felt completely comfortable and and uh, uh, took a few albums to feel that we found an identity where we uh, write music that we love and uh, and that sounds like ourselves and uh, I'm really happy with how things are going and and, and it's good you know the, 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 the future will tell uh, right now we, we feel that both Lotus and Imperial are are, are albums that kind of uh, you know solidify our identity and and but we have more more to give so it's just kind of exciting to be you know on this ride this adventure to see how far we can take our music.